Hello and welcome to this quick video. Now for those of you that have been following the channel, you'll know that at the moment I'm going through a whole Ardu plane thing. So this was the last one that I built, but I'm in the middle of building another one. So if you're watching the current series, you probably haven't seen it this built yet. Uh, this is actually what it's going to end up like. But don't worry, I actually show every single step I'm going to go through in the entire build but I have been having a problem with this and I figured it out. So I'm making this video at the end of the series, but actually popping it at the beginning of the series or after the first couple of videos anyway, so that you don't fall into the same trap because this uh, was driving me nuts. And the issue was that when I booted it up initially, it wasn't booting, I wasn't getting the on-screen display. I could see the video uh, image from the camera, but all the on-screen display stuff wasn't working. Similarly, the kind of confirmation cheeps from the little pieces inside here uh, wasn't working very well either. Now, if I let the craft sit and soak so that the GPS lock was all working, made sure that the radio was turned on with Crossfire, and then rebooted the flight controller by unplugging the battery, counting to 10, and turning it back on again, it would boot beautifully. The on-screen display would fire up and I'd be good. So what it looked like to me was that this thing was actually getting stuck in bootloader and it was only when it was getting valid signals from both the GPS and uh, the compass and the, uh, and the receiver that it would make it out of the bootloader. Now the version of bootloader that we flashed already in the series has a bit of a problem and I found the answer by using a bit of Google Foo and looking for Matek F405 wing uh, bootloader problem and I found this article. So let me just take you very quickly through this and show you what the answer is. So if you are following along with this, you before you get too far into your build, you can avoid the same mistake. Now, obviously, if you are watching this well after the build has been done, because uh, I'm making this stuff in kind of June, July and recording the videos, then the chances are this has probably already been sorted out and you probably have to worry about it. But if you're following along as I've been doing the series, I don't want you to uh, get into the same kind of problem that I had. So let me just show you the answer that I had. So this is an article on the Disgust Ardu pilot.org website and it's another gentleman called James uh, talking about exactly the same issue that I've had because I also found that if I powered it from the USB first then everything burst into life interestingly when you power it from the USB it doesn't power the GPS which I think is part of the problem because when it is powered then uh, if it ha isn't sending all the valid signals it just doesn't seem to complete the bootloader part scrolling down you can see here that somebody has already proffered the answer which is flashing 3.9.7 uh, allows everything to work okay and it's been confirmed by a couple of other pilots with Arthur at the bottom there so that's the answer if you are following along with this uh, don't use the version that I used either use the later version which hopefully has a fix in it if you're watching this series after I've made it or if you're doing it now flash it with 3.9.7 uh, that, that's the file with the underscore BL at the end with something like iNav or Betaflight to get it all set up and then download the latest version of the code without the underscore BL and then use Mission Planner to flash that and you should be good. So hopefully that's going to help those of you that are following along with this build fall into the same trap. I had a lot of head scratching with this and actually what I should have done was just hit Google and found that somebody else had already hit the problem. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.